Ansel Adams is probably one of the most famous photographers that ever lived, and he made a career out of taking spectacularly lovely images all across the West. And one of the things that he discovered is a filter, a camera filter, called a grad filter, short for a graduated filter. The top portion of the filter was dark, translucent but dark, and it would shade to completely transparent at the bottom. It looked like this, except where white is, you could see through it. What the grad filter allows us to do is to take a really nice looking exterior wide shot, slip the grad filter in front of the lens, and what we can do also in post, we get the effect of an overlay blend mode. This is the shot. This is the shot without the grad filter applied. Look at the grass, clearly it's good and it's blowing grass. This is a still, this is a moving image, so the grass is blowing, wheat. It's got a nice wheat color. The clouds are definitely there, there's lowering clouds and we can see that there's clouds and the mountain. But we don't have a lot of detail in the sky and we don't have a lot of life in the foreground because the sun is actually way in the background, not foreground. Watch the grad filter in two, one, woof. Oh my goodness, look at the detail that suddenly showed up in the sky that wasn't there before. This is before, this is after. Look at how we've made that wheat just pop. It looks as though the sunlight came out in the foreground. Why? We've applied the gradient using the overlay filter and watch what happens as I play this clip in real time. There is a dramatic, different, more powerful look to having that grad filter in than having a grad filter out. Well, it gets even more exciting than this. Here's a village barn, totally nondescript sky, nothing happening in the foreground, limited stuff happening in the background. The sun is in the, in the wrong place. We want the sun to be in the foreground. I've got a grad filter, but I also have a grad filter that's got a much narrower horizon. Let's see what we can do here. If I select both of those, go to the blend mode, change the blend mode to overlay because that works with mid-tone gray and let's watch what happens. This is before and this is the grad filter. This is before and this is the grad filter. We've got detail in the sky and we've shifted that whole balance so that now the foreground isn't a secondary thought being dominated by the background. Your eye goes right to the road, the barn, the grapevines and the lighting looks like it's consistent all the way across. And this too is a piece of video. Well, we can do more than this. What happens if I take this exact same scene and it's a horror film? Well, we can take a gradient, which is dark blue, shading cool the entire time. Select this, go to video, go to the overlay menu. Boom, boom, boom lightning and thunder just before the door slams shut and the screaming starts. Or what happens if I take a gradient which is shading between different colors? Okay, let's go to here and let's go to overlay. Look at that. Now we've got the world of Oz, all the colors are accentuated. Maybe this is too saturated. Maybe we want to just work with a warm gradient. This is a gradient created inside Final Cut. I can adjust the gradient inside Final Cut in a way that I can't with a Photoshop graphic, but I can play with it. Or I could just take a Photoshop graphic. This is a straight gradient created inside Photoshop. This is before and this is after. Look at how the wheat has got life and energy and the sky has got detail. And what we worked with is just a gold gradient. There's another thing we can do with this gradient. Watch what happens instead of doing overlay if I decide to go with hard mix. Now I've got a posterization image which is a moving image that I could use as the opening graphic to my show. Drop text on top of this. The sky is moving, the grass is moving. I've got a Peter Max style color palette that allows me to do all kinds of interesting things as text. Knock this back in terms of brightness. Or we can do something, one more thing to show you. Just I want to expand your thinking in terms of what we can do with these blend modes that's far beyond what you may have thought about. Here's our image. Here we're shading from cool to warm, select it, go to overlay. Look at this, this is before and this is after. 
I mean, this is a fabulous shot. This is more fabulous. This is what my eye would see. This is what's in my imagination.